welcome back to the channel with me, Poison Smurf, and in this Vision 2 video. And on today's video, we're going to be talking DPS builds, 6 tier, all reds, high created chance, high created damage, in your face, up close and personal DPS builds. Today, we're looking at our favourite SMG builds. But before we get into that, as always, if you find today's video helpful or entertaining in any way, remember to hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Any questions or improvements that you can see with the build, drop them down in the comment boxes below. If you haven't subscribed already, you may be thinking about giving it a hit, hit that notification bell at the same time and be notified of any future videos. With all that being said, let's get into the build. Just a quick disclaimer, on today's guide we will not be including our Ridgeway's Furious Eclipse build that we featured on the channel about 4-5 or five weeks ago. Now this build it seems to have become awfully popular with a whole bunch of YouTubers. In fact, even Nothing But Skills has even ventured out and given this build a go just a couple of days ago. If you've seen this build already, then obviously you know how powerful it is. If it hasn't, maybe check out the channel, I mean, or even hit the card above right now. Go try it out and see what you think. For me, it is definitely the, the highest DPS, the most fun running gun build in the game. So both of today's guides are going to feature the same specialisation, and that is the gunner specialisation. So firstly we're going to be generating 10% of all total ammo capacity every 60 seconds, all party members recover 5. Now with most of the high RPM builds going, this is an absolute great talent, obviously ammo, you're going to be going through it really quick with some of the RPMs that we're going to be hitting in today's builds. So this is just an absolute saviour to be able to get 10% of that back. Also, we've got the armor kits repair, 100% armor and grant 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. As with the last DPS builds we did, all red, we need any kind of survivability or bonus armor that we can get. Every third reload is 50% faster. Obviously, when we're reloading, we're not putting out DPS, so the quicker we can make that, overall, it just it certainly improves our DPS. And then we've got the killing enemies grants 10% armor. Now, as we're going to be running and gunning, any 10% little buffs of armor we can pick up as we go is going to make lives a lot easier. We've also got the form grenade, which is really useful for pinning NPCs into place, making them easy pickings for us. Remembering to spec into our correct weapons, which today we're going to be looking at the SMG and the shotgun. You can see at the top, we've got the minigun specialization. We've got the foam grenade. We're running the pistol, we're running the TDI card 45 for the extra skill tier, not that we'll be using it, but as I've said, I always say, it's my favourite pistol. We're running our named mop as our secondary, uh, 997k total damage, 15% shotgun damage, 10% damage to armour, and for the attribute, 10% armour on kill, with the talent preservation. Killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10%. So if we can finish off an enemy with the shotgun, which for a million D DPS we should be able to manage that, we're looking at a 20% armor buff. So as far as our main weapons concerned, I've gone with the good old MP5. As you can see, we've got a very high total damage at the top at 127k around running at 800 rounds a minute with 52 in the back. As far as attributes are concerned, we've got maxed out 15% SMG damage, 21% crit hit chance, 10% damage to targets out of cover, and with the talent Ranger. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from the target. Now, this talent is okay. Preferably, I would rather uh, up close and personal where I can kill an enemy within 7 meters, giving me a 30% damage bonus. Um, but unfortunately, the rolls on me just haven't been kind with regarding that. I do have a vector rolled that way, but I just find that the MP5 is probably the, if not one of the most accurate submachine guns in the game. I mean, you're going to be landing every round from the magazine. It's really that good, and it hits so hard. So, looking at the build, as you can see, we've gone with the four-piece Hunter's Fury, a Sokoloft chest with Intimidate, and the Memento bag. So, we'll take a quick look at the mask first. As you can see, we've gone with the Hunter's Fury, so we've got the four pieces. So, we've got the two-piece bonus, 15% shotgun damage, which we're running as a secondary. 
15% SMG damage, which is our primary. Three pieces bonus, we've got 20% armor on kill, so as we're killing, we're stacking armor as we go. We're getting 100% health on kill also, plus we're getting the four piece bonus, Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with the weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by an additional 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. So that's an additional 20% damage we're getting for being within 15 meters of them. And then obviously as we're killing enemies we're getting an additional 5% again, stacking up to 25 times. So that just with that 4 piece alone you can be looking at like a 45% amplified weapon damage, which is crazy. As well as the armor on kill and the health on kill, it's just a dream come true. So looking at the attributes, 15% weapon damage, maxed out crit hit chance, maxed out crit hit damage. Go down to the holster, as we can see 14.3 weapon damage, 12% crit hit damage. We'll go across to the knees, we got 13.2 weapon damage. 12% crit hit damage. Quick look at the gloves. 12.3% weapon damage. 12% crit hit damage. Now, if you wanted to swap a few of these pieces around, you could like you could re change a couple of the uh, the weapon damage procs if you wanted to run armor instead, if you like. But the fact that we're running the memento bag, even though we're running all reds, as you can see. It's giving us one blue stat for our armor, so we've still effectively got 900k armor, so we're not too squishy. But saying that, as well as the bag, we're getting the 14% weapon damage, as well as the armor core at 158k, as well as the skill tier, with the attribute 11.7 crit hit damage, and the talent kill confirmed. So for you guys that don't know, as you're running around and you're killing enemies, for every red attribute you have on your build, you'll be looking at an additional 5% weapon damage. For every blue attribute, you're going to be looking at an extra 10% bonus armor and another 5% skill efficiency for any yellow attributes. So looking at our build, as you can see, we're running with 6 reds, so we're going to be getting a 30% weapon damage bonus per uh, stack. Um, we've got one blue coming from the memento, so we're going to be getting a 10% bonus armor stack. And we've got one yellow, so we've got skill efficiency, even though we're not winning any skills. But before you know it, you mean your armor is stacking up, your weapon damage is stacking up. These can get up to some ridiculous numbers. So now that we've covered the bag, we're looking at the chest. Obviously, like I said earlier, we've gone with the Sokolov Concern. The One Piece bonus, 10% SMG damage. Core attributes, 4.3% weapon damage, 4.6% crit hit chance, 12% crit hit damage, and the 11.6% crit hit damage mod, with the talent Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So as this is going to be a running gunning kind of style, we want to be getting close within 10 meters to proc the Hunter's Fury, to proc the bonus armor, to proc the Intimidate. We need to be like running and gunning and getting in people's faces. So because of that, we're going to be running the Crusader Shield. Now, as you can see, the health on it is only 2.3 million at the moment. But the minute you start picking up your um, kill confirms from your memento bag, this is going to stack before you know it, and your ammo is going to be like literally like filling up your ammo bar all the way. Second, obviously, we're running the Reviver Hive, as we do with all DPS builds, just to try and make it a little bit easier for any of our teammates to have to try and come and get us. So we'll take a quick look at the stats on here. And as you can see, we're currently running with 56.6% crit hit chance, 128% crit hit damage, 63% headshot damage. Now, like I say, as we're running around and we're collecting skills and we're collecting trophies, these numbers are going to like literally very quickly go up. We've got an additional 91% all weapons damage, and we have an additional 55% submachine gun damage. We have the kill confirmed talents, and we have the intimidate on the chest. So that's going to do it for our first build. So we're going to now quickly move on to our second.
So starting off back at the top, as you can see, we've gone with the gun specialization for the uh, additional armor, the additional ammo, everything that we stated earlier. Uh, we've still got the form grenades. Pistol is still the same, the TDI card 45 for the extra skill tier, even though we're not using it. Our second weapon, we're running this time, we're running the Baker's Dozen. 15% rifle damage, 17% critted damage, 10% damage to targets out of cover, and perfect lucky shot. That's an additional 30% in our magazine, and 100% of our bullets that miss the target whilst we're in cover do return to our magazine and not actually become used ammunition as such. So to conserve ammo, this is really helpful. Our main weapon, we are going with the chatterbox. As you can see, total weapon damage, 101k, 700 rounds is base with a 60 mag, 15% SMG damage, 20% crit hit chance, 10% crit hit damage, with the incessant chatter talent. When you, you reload, rate of fire is increased by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters for the duration of that magazine. Stacks up to 5 times. So if you could be lucky enough to reload this weapon with five enemies within 15 meters of you, because you can stack this five times, that could effectively give you an additional 100% rate of fire. So you're currently running at 700, you're going to be doubling that. You're going to be up to 1400 RPM. And with the gunner, the additional 5% rate of fire on kill, if you can hit that 14% and then trigger that, you're looking at 1,470 RPM. And here's the bonus. When you kill an enemy, refill 50% of your magazine. So there's no downtime reloading in between enemies. You can literally churn through one after another after another with no downtime. So we're going to drop straight down to the bottom and look at the skills. As per usual, we're looking at the Reviver Hive because we don't want anyone else to come and get us up because one person can quickly take down a full team. We're also running the Crusader Shield, same as last time, about two and a half million, give or take, health on the shield, but that is going to be stacking very quickly because, once again, as you can see, we're running the Memento Bag. Exactly the same principle as before. Any extra red attributes that we're running, we're going to be getting an additional 5% weapon damage bonus. Any blue cars we're running, we're going to get additional 10% armor. Any yellows, extra skill tier. Attributes exactly the same as they were before. 40% weapon damage, armor, critted damage. So, going off the build, starting off, we've got a one-piece Providence on the mask. Solikov chest with Intimidate. Group of Sombre, Holster. Uh, Fox's Prayer is best in slot, and our Contractor's Gloves. So just going over the numbers quickly, as you can see, the One Piece Providence, 15% headshot damage, get an additional 15% weapon damage, 12% critted damage, 6% critted chance, and 11.8 critted damage mod. The same Sokolov chest piece we had on a moment ago, 12.3 weapon damage, 4.6 crit chance, crit damage, more crit damage, Intimidate on the chest. We've got the Grouper Hoster. 15% weapon damage, 10% headshot damage, 12% crit hit damage with an additional 15% crit hit damage from the brand set piece. We've got our Fox's Prayers, Triple God Road, 10% rifle damage, 15% weapon damage is our main attribute. 8% damage to targets out of cover, which obviously is the best in slot. There isn't anything else that really compares to these. And an additional 12% crit hit damage again. And then this time we've gone with our contractor gloves. Now, yeah, it's a 10% LMG buff with regards to the brand set. But the main reason we're here is the 8% damage to armor. Once again, there's nothing better in the game. Once again, these are best in slot with an additional 15% weapon damage and 4.7 crit hit chance. So overall, it doesn't really look like anything special or anything different, but when we take a look at our stats, as we can see, we're now rocking with a max stat of 60% crit hit chance at 158.5 crit hit damage, which for an SMG at this rate of fire is ridiculous. We've got 88.6% headshot damage, which once again is ridiculous. We've got an additional 8% armor damage. 
we've got the eight percent uh, sorry the ten percent damage to targets out of cover from the fox's prayers we've got the intimidate procking on the chest we've got the stacks building from the memento uh, so we can also see we have an additional 96.3 percent all weapon damage we've got an additional 40 percent submachine gun damage with the kill confirmed and intimidate talents this really does just stack up the dps so quickly guys but that's going to do it for today's videos as always we're going to end today's video i'll leave some gameplay footage of both of these two builds in action big thank you to everyone that made it to the end of the video as usual it really is the best way you can support and help this channel if you haven't hit the subscribe button below maybe think about it hit that notification bell for any forthcoming videos if you enjoyed today remember to hit leave a th thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down any questions concerns or anything you want us to do with any future updates drop it down in the comments below we do get it back to everybody but all that being said guys until the next time stay safe and keep grinding out of the control room. Get a position. We got him right where we want him. Assistance needed.